Rodney? Yep, yeah, I know. It's I know. It's time to make a video. Well, you've kind of caught me at an inopportune moment. You're going to have to wait just a minute. Yes, I know. We promised them Memphis-style barbecue spaghetti. Stick around. I'm going to show you how. Alright gang, for this recipe, we're going to need a jar of whatever your favorite spaghetti sauce is, a jar of whatever your favorite barbecue sauce is, some of whatever your favorite barbecue rub is, in my case it's Bad Byron's butt rub, a pound or so of pulled pork, some garlic, some noodles of your choosing. I'm using Jap Che because it's good for my diabetes. And also you're going to need some liquid smoke. Hey gang, before we fire into this recipe, why don't you do me a big favor? And if you ain't done so already, mash that big old subscribe button. Maybe even check off the bell icon. Give me a big thumbs up. Maybe even leave me a comment or two. And if you don't mind, share this to your social media. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now, moving on. Memphis-style barbecue was invented in Memphis, Tennessee back in about 1961 at a place called the Barbecue Shop. I've eaten there. It's wonderful. This is not exactly the same recipe, only in that the Barbecue Shop will make their own spaghetti sauce, make their own barbecue sauce, and then they smoke it in a smoker for 12 hours. I don't have that kind of facility. I don't have that kind of time. What we do is we take a regular spaghetti sauce, whatever you happen to like. We take a barbecue sauce, again, whatever you happen to like, and add a little liquid smoke to make it taste like it's been smoked. But first things first, for your camping trip, what we're going to need to do is cook your noodles, get them cooled down, washed off, and stuck into the refrigerator. So we're waiting on our pot right now to, to come to a nice rolling boil. Hey, y'all like my apron? Check this out. Bad Byron's butt rub didn't send that to me because I endorse them so much. They sent it to me, <laughs> frankly, because I ordered enough stuff off their website. You can get the same deal, too. Order two of the big ones, and they'll start throwing in some stuff. For those of you that may not know, Jap Chay noodles are from Korea, and they're made from the starch of sweet potatoes, which means it's decent for my diabetes and it's good for my diet program. Give them a try. You'll like them. If you have a local Asian shop, or maybe even Amazon may have some. What do you think of this right here? Huh? Yeah. Well, that came with my Welcome to 50 starter pack. Mm. Okay. Well, we got it up to a good roll and boil here now, if you can take a look and see. To that, we're going to have one of these nests of Jap chain noodles added to the water. You don't need to salt or oil this water. There's two in here. One is a little bit bigger than the other. I'll use that one. What we're going to do is snap these noodles in half and put them in the boiling water for five and a half minutes. You know what? I went ahead and did both nests, and I'll tell you why. You never know who's going to come rolling up to your campsite going, What's that you're making? And then you wind up giving away a bowl or two. Go ahead and do. Go ahead and do all of it. You can always eat the rest later. All right, here's what your noodle should look like. And the trick to this is, is we're gonna have to get it off the heat just as quick as we can and get it in a nice cold bath. Make sure they're well rinsed and well cooled. We do this to both stop the cooking process and to get rid of some of the starch that's on it. Now let's make sure that's good and rinsed. Into the fridge this goes. Let's go get started on the sauce. Now, we're going to need a good sized stock pot. To that, we're going to add your jar of whatever particular spaghetti sauce you care for. And to that, we're going to add one cup of barbecue sauce, whatever your favorite barbecue sauce happens to be. 
going to add one teaspoon of liquid smoke. That should be plenty smoky. And one tablespoon of minced garlic. But to be honest with you, whatever, whatever amount suits you, some people like things extra garlicky. Like myself. And then I know this is going to sound like a lot, but trust me, it isn't. Two tablespoons of whatever your favorite barbecue rub is. I use Bad Byron's for two reasons. It's delicious, and there's no sugar in it. To that, we're going to add probably about half our package of pulled pork. The rest we're going to use as a topper. Let's get that to simmering because we're going to let it simmer for about two hours, adding water along the way as necessary. See you in about two hours. All right, our sauce has been at it now for a couple of hours. Let's take a look. And here it goes. Oh, I want you to look at that. Goodness gracious. Look at this here. Oh my good golly. That right there, you know what that's going to be, don't you? That's going to be hardly fit to eat right there. Let's, uh, let's mix a little of that in with some noodles and give it a taste. Now at this point, you got two options. Option one is you take your noodles out of the fridge, put it in the sauce, get it mixed well, put it back in another container, then all you have to do is heat the, the one pot up when you get to the campsite. The other option, which is really the one I recommend, is you keep them separate and then heat them up at the campsite. Reason being is these Jap Che noodles, well any noodles for that matter, will absorb flavor and swell and then they'll start to disintegrate a little bit and they just, they just won't be fit to eat. So what I'd recommend you do is keep them separate and just heat them up at the, at the campsite. But for now, we're going to give this a little taste. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That little Elvis Presley I hear playing in the background? Because I think I'm in Memphis. Mmm. Goodness gracious, Lord. This right here is hardly fit to eat. Why don't you look at that? This is hardly fit deep, but I tell you what, I'm going to keep going until I find a good spot. Mm-hmm. Y'all going to have to excuse me. Mm. It's delicious. It's tomatoey. It's barbecuey. Your rub adds a little bit of spice to it. You feel that on the back of your tongue. Mm. Hardly fit to eat, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you. So that's going to be it for this episode of Eating Good in the Woods, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ships at sea. Hope you've enjoyed it. Once again, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Check the old bell notification. Maybe even give me a comment or two. I promise you I'll answer you. Anyhow, till next time, y'all go on out there and be nice to each other. I love you. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.